Hello and welcome to another video from Connecting Software. In this video, we are going to see how to sync Salesforce CRM with a database without using any of the high five languages. Yep, I said high five. You see, I have here a SQL Server database. This database could be the database of your legacy application, your SAV, your on-prem SQL Server, or even your data warehouse. In the Salesforce contacts page, I have different set of contacts. You could notice as well that those contacts are not in the SQL Server database. And those contacts are not in Salesforce. I promise you by the end of this video, both Salesforce and the SQL Server database will contain the same list of contacts. So let's get started. I divided the operation to five small store procedures. Each one does a specific job. First procedure is called database to CRM insert. It will insert those records to Salesforce. Let's execute it. We could see that the 10 new contacts got inserted to Salesforce. We can easily identify them. We could see also that the contacts in the SQL Server database got assigned unique IDs. These are the unique Salesforce IDs assigned to them once they got inserted to Salesforce. Second procedure is called Database to CRM Update. It will update the matching contact records in Salesforce according to the changes made in the SQL Server database. Let's update Zach's name and add a K at the end. And let's call Mr. Phil, Mr. Philip. I'm sure he won't mind that. Now we see that only two records got updated. We need to sync those updates to Salesforce. I will just execute this store procedure, which will take care of that for me. You could see here that only two records were identified. Let's check Salesforce. Before updating the page, you could see that Zach is ending with C and that Mr. Phil is still Mr. Phil. Let's refresh. Now we see that Zach ends with K and that Mr. Phil is now called Mr. Phil. Third procedure is called database to CRM delete. It will delete the contacts from Salesforce that got deleted from the local database. Let me delete these five contacts. Let's run the store procedure. And now let's check Salesforce. You see now that I have only five contacts with first name starting with Z. At this stage, I already have a complete solution to sync on-prem database with Salesforce in one directional sync. But why to stop there if we could have bi-directional sync? The sync from Salesforce to the SQL Server database will be done using the fourth and the fifth store procedures. The fourth store procedure is called CRM to database delete. It will delete the contacts from the SQL Server database that got deleted from Salesforce. Let's delete those three contacts from Salesforce. Now we execute the store procedure. Let's check our SQL Server database. You can see now that I have only two records left with first name starting with Z. The final procedure is called CRM to database sync. It will sync, which means insert and update the contacts in the SQL Server database according to the new contacts inserted and the contacts updated in Salesforce. You can see here that I got 25 contacts, but in the SQL Server database, I just got two. That's of course because we never synced the existing Salesforce contacts to the SQL Server database. Well, it's time to do that. Let's execute the CRM to database sync store procedure. Now we can see that Salesforce and the SQL Server database contain the exact list of contacts. As you could see, I kept my promise. As always, thank you for watching. Wait, don't you want to know how I did that? Hmm. I won't be able to tell you everything, but I can tell you that this won't be possible without ConnectBridge, SQL Server Link Server, and of course, the stored procedures. For example, this one here, I 
Mm -hmm. Okay, I have said enough. Do you want to know more? Contact us on this email and we will even share with you the codes in those store procedures. Promise. For real this time, thank you for watching.